In Flat Earth Fail Compilation 35, I featured a guy called NL Pirate King Pirate King, who wasn't very happy with me. This simple piece of mathematical proof, yeah? Then you lost your soul to the devil. Good luck with it. Well, he's still not very happy with me, and now he's decided to do a full response. This is going to get bumpy. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Star Trek Fleet Command. If you're into science like me, then it's more than likely that you are also into Star Trek. And I've been getting really stuck into what I think is the most engaging Star Trek video game I've ever had the pleasure of playing. This open world strategic MMO has a story which you can watch unfold as you play. You can pick your side, whether that be Federation, Klingon, Cardassian, or even Rogue. Craft your perfect ship, and then fit it with iconic characters from the so shows, such as Kirk, Picard, Data, or Spock. I've only just started, but as you can see, I've already got stuck into a battle or two. And it's not going to get boring. I won't be face palming like Picard, because I can acquire new ships, watch as they get upgraded, and I can even explore the characters available too. Personally, I love the whole Star Trek world, and it's really interesting to find out more information about all the ships and characters that I've never heard of before. Plus, it's constantly updated. They've got a new feature called Lower Deck Abilities, which is based on the new Star Trek show, Star Trek Lower Decks. The brand new Below Decks Abilities lets players unlock power like they have never seen before. Players can now choose a crew to support the officers on the bridge, providing up to seven officers worth of additional abilities that can combine to provide power powerful buffs and benefits to player ships. Star Trek Fleet Command is free to play on iOS and Android. Use my link in the description below to download now, which of course will help this channel too. Right, back to today's video where NL Pirate King Pirate King is about to go off on Simon Dan. It looks like he's taken issue with my response to Mr. Thrive and Survive regarding his video on lunar eclipses. Do not miss this one. Community, where to come out with a diagram like this to show something with the flat earth there would literally be dozens of comments below stating you're not showing it to scale it's a trick you're using because you if you do it to scale you'll see it turns out right and there would be videos by the professor and Marianne and Simon Dan and others who will never try things themselves to see if they're actually right or wrong Ah yes indeed, we probably would be calling you up on stuff like that. The reason being though is that we don't need to do this on our own. To so if NASA tells you you can fly in a week from now, you will jump off a building. And if you still crash down on the floor, yes, then they will say you didn't have any fuel. Yeah, sure. Sorry, what was that? I understood very little of that, I'm afraid. Believe everything that's written in the book, boy. Believe everything. Don't go test it. No, no, no. Because everything they tell you from from a book, huh? That's that's always, always. That's, that's yeah. You don't go test anything. I did. Okay, good for you, matey. But generally, it is true because they tend to only put the things in the book if it's been tested multiple times already. It's considered true when those tests like sort of confirm the hypothesis. Therefore, they're okay to go in the books and survive. The science has been done countless times by multiple space agencies and institutions. Yeah, what I said. But of course the beauty of all of that is that you actually can do it yourself if you really want to. Next Then month. go do some, you moron! Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. So, so, sorry, 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 I shouldn't have said that. That's okay, but I'm sure you're going to respond to this, aren't you? Sorry. Yeah, because this is, this is where all those uh, disbelievers and blind sheep, like we call them, and we don't like to call them that, but yeah. Because they lose social and social behavior against us, and yeah, we are being called all kinds of sh and sometimes it just flops out. Sorry, bro. Well, hang on, I don't call people all sorts of stuff. In fact, it's very rare that I will ever directly insult anyone. But go do research instead of only reading. The sun. The Earth's shadow doesn't appear on the moon's surface until the moon enters the umbra part, which is that small dark area in the middle. Oh my god. 
So, yeah, whatever. I, I, want, I want it to go like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh, I'm doing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at this, is what they show. Okay, not weird. So that was a response I was given to Thrive and Survive about when the Earth's shadow hits the surface of the moon during a lunar eclipse. Look at the left. Here you got sun. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. And here comes uh, the Earth in the middle. Yeah. And uh, the new moon is when the moon is standing between the planet Earth and the sun. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. And... The full moon is when it's behind the planet Earth. This is just a diagram to show the different phases of the moon and where the moon is roughly in its orbit around Earth during those phases. It is of course not to scale and it leaves out the moon's five degree orbit for simplicity. So uh, wh what did you say again there then? the Sun. The Earth's shadow doesn't appear on the Moon's surface until the Moon enters the umbra part, which is that small dark area in the middle. So, when the Moon is standing behind the planet Earth, in the umbra, it will have a shadow. During a lunar eclipse, yes, when the Moon passes behind Earth's shadow. It will turn black. Huh? Really? 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 Yes, really. Come on, man, open up your eyes. Go do research. Where is the shadow? This is the full moon of 18 on 19 March 2022. This year, taken with my own camera, and there is no shadow. No shadow. And in the morning, it ends like this. Yes, that's because that's just a normal full moon. There was not a lunar eclipse on the 18th of March 2022. As I just stated, there's a five degree tilt to the moon's orbit. This means there's only a certain time in the moon's orbit that it will be directly behind the Earth during a full moon. Usually the moon will either be slightly below or slightly above the Earth's shadow because of that five degree tilt in its orbit. The sun. The Earth's shadow doesn't appear on the moon's surface until the moon enters the umbra part, which is that small dark area in the middle. Go do research. Well, it's actually quite funny that the man who says go and do your research doesn't know that there's a five degree tilt in the moon's orbit. Because, like you said, Everybody can go do research. I've shown you research. Yeah, again, research. 3D cut. Simple 3D cut. You do not even have to go outside. You can see it in a program on a computer you are using to make your stupid videos where you only present that what they are telling you. Yeah, well, I can see the moon myself and I can see lunar eclipses myself. And I can look up and see that there isn't a lunar eclipse every time we get a full moon. Not that or you have researched yourself. I zoomed in for you. Look at it again. That sun on the distance the right distance that they tell you is smaller than the Earth. It's smaller. And the moon is behind it. Yeah? The diagram. And here we go. NASA itself, the source NASA, yeah, tells you the full moon will be behind the planet. Confidence is scary, isn't it? This is a very, very good example of some very, very strong Dunning-Krugerism, if that's a word. I've shown you my full moon of 18 on 19 March. Yeah? And then yes, you say that the moon will go black 
in the umra? Nope, didn't say that. The sun. The Earth's shadow doesn't appear on the moon's surface until the moon enters the umbra part, which is that small dark area in the middle. Yeah, definitely didn't say it would go black. You see it yourself in the books. You're seeing it yourself out loud and you still don't see it. Because you don't go outside and you don't go watch a full moon arriving, going by, and leaving. Pesky rotation of Earth. A 15 degree per hour drift. Exactly, Bob. Thanks. Because it ain't turning around, Bob. Later, bro. Cheers, bro. Well, there we go. What a wonderful demonstration of thinking you are correct, but you are in actual fact incredibly wrong. Amazing. I do have some more from this guy actually. We aren't quite done with him yet, so keep an eye out soon. Well, there we go. Another Flat Earth Friday all wrapped up and done and dusted for another week. Thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it today, then please do consider hit, hitting that subscribe button. Um, as I said, it'd be hugely appreciated. And if you did enjoy this one in particular, hit that like button as well. Just enough time to once again thank Star Trek Fleet Command for sponsoring today. Remember, click the link in the description where you can download it for iOS and Android devices now. And of course, it will help the channel if you do so. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend. And I'll see you all on Tuesday for a guy called Conspiracy Todd who wants us to change his mind on the moon landing. See you then.